2T and 4T operation. What exactly does that mean? Well, the T is most commonly known as trigger. The rest of it we'll explain in this episode of the Fabrication Series. Alright, now in the Get a Grip episode, we went over eight different ways to hold a TIG torch, and the final grip shown was using this trigger mounted to a torch instead of using a foot pedal to control the machine. Now, this is commonly used with 2T and 4T operation, which we're going to go over right now, but let's first talk about setting up the machine. Now, pre-flow is an optional deal. Some machines have them, some machines don't, but it's a programmable amount of time to initiate the argon flow before the arc initiates. Next we have our starting amperage. Now the starting amperage is after the arc is initiated, how many amps you want that to be set at before we get into the upslope. So in this case it's 10 amps is what I'm showing you. Now the upslope is a certain amount of time you want it to transition from your startup amperage to your main welding amperage. So this is X amount of seconds. So in this case we're going to say 3 seconds to go from our startup amperage to our main welding amperage. Now the main welding amperage is what it's going to be at maximum. So whenever that's, that gets into that mode of maximum amperage, that's exactly what you're going to get. No deviation from it until you hit your downslope. Now the downslope is exactly the opposite of the upslope. A certain amount of time programmable to go from your main welding amperage to your ending amperage. Now the ending amperage allows it to taper off and allows you to get a nice little stable arc at low amperage before the arc terminates and you get into your post flow settings. Now the post flow settings is the amount of argon you want to flow after the arc is terminated. So now that we have that in mind, let's actually take a look and see each of these modes as we go along through them. Now it's very possible to program a 2T mode without any kind of upslope, starting amps, or ending amperage. And this is usually what we call straight 2T mode. That's no up or down slope, no start or ending amps. You just press the trigger, go straight up to your welding amps, as soon as you let off, it just kills it right there. And this is pretty much what it looks like. You press the trigger, you start welding, off you go, and as soon as you're ready to terminate, you simply let off the trigger, and the arc shuts down. Just like that. Now let's take a look at 2T operation with up and down slope. Now the upslope timer begins at the starting amperage and the downslope timer terminates at the ending amperage. So what that basically looks like is as soon as you press the trigger, pre-flow goes, upslope begins at starting amperage, you go through your welding amps as soon as you let off the trigger, the downslope cycle begins and terminates at your final amperage. So as I depress the trigger here, you'll see the arc initiate very weak and over the course of the next three seconds, it's gonna slowly build up and go into full welding amperage, which we set at 100 amps. So I'm going to start running my bead and get everything going. And as soon as I'm ready to quit, I'm going to let off the trigger. And then my arc will start going down into our ending amperage, which ends and terminates at 3 amps. And then the post-flow cycle begins. Now let's take a look at some 4T with up and down slope. Now this is a little bit confusing, but this is basically controlled by doing four triggers instead of two triggers to do it based on a press and hold command. So try and follow along here. We're gonna get through the pre-flow cycle and it's gonna go to the initiating start amps as soon as I depress the trigger. And it's gonna stay at that starting amperage until I let off the trigger, and then it's gonna go through its upslope and its welding amps until I press down on the trigger again, which goes to the downslope and ending amps. And it's gonna stay on those ending amps until I let off the trigger again. So let's look at it carefully here. I'm going to initiate, I'm going to hold that trigger, and I can dance around and do whatever I want here because I'm on my starting amperage. It's not going to ramp up until I let off the trigger, and then it's going to go through the upslope timer and into the welding amps. And it's going to stay here as long as I want it, or at least until I press the trigger yet again for the third time, and that's going to bring it to its downslope and get into its final amperage. So that five second downslope down to three amps being stable here, I'll just dance around and play with it again until I'm done and I'll let off the trigger again. Boom, now it's finished. That's your 4T cycle. You got any additional questions? Drop them down in the comments box below. You can also drop me an email on the fabricationseries.com website. Hit me up on Instagram at the.fabricator or Facebook at facebook.com slash series. All that info is in the description here below. I want to thank you guys for watching as always. Don't forget to subscribe to the Fabrication Series YouTube channel for more really awesome content. And I will see you guys on the next episode.